Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ethan Bernard. In today's video, I wanted to bring you guys kind of an opinion piece slash informational piece talking about the Division 2's endgame content, and I want you guys to join in on the conversation. If you guys have opinions about anything that I'm saying in this video, leave them down in the comments below. I read most of them, and we'll have a good discussion down there. Anyway, uh, recently, or yesterday, if you're watching the video on the 28th, the Division 2 Tidal Basin update was announced for April 5th. Of course, this update includes stuff like the Tidal Basin Stronghold, World Tier 5, Gear Score 500, Heroic Difficulty, Weekly Invasions, Gear Sets, so much shit. There's so much stuff coming, and this is what I would definitely consider the Division 2's actual endgame. There's a reason I haven't really done most of the exotic quests or hunted a lot of the hunters. I've only gotten a few of the masks so far. I want to save the last of them until World Tier 5 so I can get everything at the highest level possible. You see a lot of people out there, they have every exotic and they have everything and they're all loaded out. But now, come April 5th, all those guys that have sat there grinding and grinding and grinding are just going to be passed up by everyone getting to 500 once World Tier 5 becomes available. So, I think it's going to be fun. I think it'll be a really good time for anyone. And honestly, I don't know why they waited so long. Like, I understand for the, for the average player, this is probably good timing. You know, a lot of you are probably World 2 or World... Tier 3, 2, 3, 4, yada, yada, yada. You're probably somewhere in there. You're grinding. You're having a good time. Just kind of making your way through the ropes of the game. But a lot of the players in this game, you got to realize, and this pertains to Warframe, Destiny, Division, Anthem, all these looter shooter in their communities, a lot of them are really dedicated players, and they play nothing but this. So if you think about it from the standpoint of someone who's only been playing the Division 2, and they've been sitting at 450 gear score for like a week or two now, they're dying for this to come out, and we still have to wait another eight days. Given the PvP and just the overall everything in this game, the Dark Zone PvP and free roaming is all very fun, but you're not really gaining anything from it if you play it right now after you hit 450. Like, sure, you can get fuel proficiency to go past 450. You can get, like, 450. I've seen 460 people, which is absolutely ridiculous because they're spending hours and hours and hours and hours leveling up to, like, 460, 465 probably at this point. But you got to realize, once that update hits on April 5th, you'll be able to go from 450 to 465 in less than an hour, probably, just from grinding. It does not take a long time to raise your gear score in this game, especially when you're working with teammates to figure out who needs what to level up the fastest. Now, I am really excited for this update, and alongside this update, they released a graphic that I'll have on screen here briefly. If you want to look at it, you can pause the video. I'm going to have it up for like 10 seconds or something. And this shows off all of the year one free content. They emphasize the word free, obviously, just so they can rub it in some other people's faces that they're making all this amazing end game post launch content for free. And everyone who owns the main game will have access to it. Now, we can see here the Invasion Battle for DC releases on April 5th. That, of course, is the title based update. New stronghold, new difficulty, gear score, yada, yada, yada. However, you can also see. Episode 1, 2, and 3 have timelines for release now, as well as all the ongoing content they have announced on the bottom of the screen. You can see here, Episode 1, DC Outskirts Expeditions, starts in the summer of this year. We have, in the fall, we have the Pentagon, the Last Castle, which I think that's going to be a badass update. Okay, that comes out this fall. And then in the winter, we have Episode 3, which they don't really show a lot about. Now, this is just speculation here, but if that's a tree line behind her and we're actually going to be able to, like, snipe some bitches in the woods, I think that's going to be pretty badass. That'll be a nice change of pace. Most of DC is the same. It's either kind of like the outskirts in the dark zone or it's the streets or it's a park. There's not really many, like, strong nature-filled wooded areas. A lot of it is civilization, and if episode three, now this is complete speculation, like I said, that could just be a blurry background for all I know, but if those are trees in the background of that graphic, that could be pretty badass if we get to do some long-range combat in a wooded area. I think that would be really cool, but that's a long way down the line. Now you can see down here in the ongoing content, this is stuff that's supposedly just trickling into the game over the course of this timeline. We have new gear, projects, narratives, raids, cosmetics... New PvP modes, which is desperately needed. We have new bounty events, new challenges, new weapons, and on top of all of that, we have new specializations. Now, given specializations are crazy, I've put a lot of time into the Division 2 already, and I haven't even maxed out my sharpshooter yet. So, the fact that I still have two more to go, and they're releasing three more specializations, I'm assuming one with each episode, or maybe even more, 
That's pretty crazy. I'm pretty excited for it. Anyway, guys, what do you think of all this year one content? Let me know down in the comments below. There's a reason I haven't done many of the exotic quests or killed all the hunters yet because I want to wait and see if I can reach the max gear score before getting those done so I get those weapons and gear at the highest level possible and hopefully I'll get lucky here and start to get some exotic drops after this update drops on April 5th. Anyway, guys, like I said, let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts are on all this stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you liked it, leave it a like. You know what to do if you didn't. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. It's been a minute, but I'm in it to win, and I ain't finished. This is the starting gun, and I'ma run it to the front and tell them number one, son. This is a rhythmic defibrillation, innovative old school to thrill the nation. I've been patiently waiting and building.